A former West Nassau High School teacher and head tennis coach is now in jail after an investigation into inappropriate text messages with a minor. This is 50 year old Sherry Braddock. She's facing one count of transmitting harmful materials to a minor. According to the arrest report, the victim was one of her tennis players. News for Jack supporter Eric Avenier joining us live from outside West Nassau High School. Eric, I understand you've been speaking with some of the parents about Braddock's arrest. Yes, I have, Kent, and I got to tell you that uh, the parents that we spoke with knew nothing about any of this until after we not only told them, but showed them her mugshot and even showed them the arrest report for them to read for themselves. Now, uh, Braddock resigned from her position here at West Nassau High School after that investigation began. Charged with transmitting inappropriate materials to a minor, 50-year-old Shari Braddock was taken into custody Friday morning following a lengthy investigation that began back in June when she was still working as a teacher and head tennis coach at West Nassau High School. According to this arrest report, on May 15th, Braddock sent a sexually explicit message to a student who was also one of her tennis players. The following day, the teen received a more salacious message from a phone number belonging to Braddock. We caught up with two parents at an after-school soccer practice to get their reaction to the details in this arrest report. It leaves me speechless, honestly, to think that stuff like this is going on between teachers and students. Dad, tell me how do you feel as a parent. It's disgusting. According to the arrest report, Braddock knew she could get into trouble when she sent a text message to the teen saying, quote, I hope your mama doesn't see this message. I'll be in big trouble. You should delete after. The report went on to say that Braddock eventually sent an apology text to the team and stated that she had been drinking and that drinking makes you make bad decisions. The two parents who agreed to speak with me on camera say this is an example of why they closely monitor their child's cell phone and Internet activity. Part of their agreement to even have a phone of their own is that I can go through it anytime I want to. And thankfully, I do have a parent app on all of my kids' phones, and I read every text. They cannot delete anything without me seeing it. And right now, Braddock remains in jail without bond. Reporting live in Nassau County, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.